Are you new or early in your cybersecurity journey and you're trying to learn some new concepts, but you keep running into roadblock after roadblock? And it comes to the point where you're Googling, you're looking for links, but it's not really aligning with what you're trying to go with for your study plan and your learning and development process. Introducing ChatGPT. And in this video today, I'm going to tell you of a way to use ChatGPT as your own personal cybersecurity tutor. Let's have the discussion. Hello, and welcome back to Struggle Security, where we are normalizing struggling in cybersecurity. And one of the struggles that many of us have is learning, learning new concepts, learning new ideas within cybersecurity. And today we're gonna to talk about how to use ChatGPT as your own cybersecurity tutor. And for those who don't know what ChatGPT is, it is an artificial intelligence driven tool, which was released by OpenAI and it's been mass adoption. I mean, if you Google chat GPT is so many different links, so many different YouTube videos that you can find. But there are so many different uses that many of us have not tapped into yet. And one that I want to talk to you about today is using chat GPT as your own personal cybersecurity tutor. Let's start it off with a scenario here. Let's say that you're an entry level security operations center analyst and you are desiring to improve your threat detection skills. You understand that your organization is using Splunk as a SIM or a security incident and event management system. And you know that they have antiquated or old queries and detection. So you're looking to increase your skills, but also add impact to the organization. Really quick aside, a SIM stands for Security Incident and Event Management. And several of the goals of a SIM is to collect, analyze, aggregate, normalize, investigate, report on all types of threat activities, malicious activities within your organization. It's kind of like the eyes and ears of what's happening within the organization. And it's kind of a lot of times the first line of defense before someone declares an incident or something bad happening within your network. It's what you find out before you get hacked. It's the tool that, that you used to understand before you get hacked. Back to the scenario. So you're looking um, to learn, improve your skills and positively impact your organization in a one month period of time, because that's when your review cycle is. And you're looking to increase it by learning how to create Splunk queries. Let's go over to ChatGPT where I have put together several prompts, right? And that's one thing about ChatGPT, it's very important to understand the different prompts that you're putting together in order for you to get a very good result or the result that you're looking for. So let's go ahead and walk through it. And the first question is um, that I asked ChatGPT is to create a roadmap for learning how to create detection queries in Splunk. Now it's not perfect, but it's something to start off with. So here they're giving you several things. It says, uh, here is a roadmap for learning how to create detection queries. They want you to do several things and it's a step-by-step -step process. It says, familiarize yourself with the Splunk search language, learn about Splunk data sources in two, three, practice, study Splunk's reporting analysis. It's a lot of things here, but it's not really specific to what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something with a little bit more detail. That's what I start to give it. I give it another prompt to say, I'm looking to learn this in one month, and it says, break the concepts up into what I need to learn each week. Okay, now we're getting somewhere, right? Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're now we're starting to move. It's saying week one is telling us to familiarize ourselves with Splunk and the search language and practice creating basic searches. Two, study Splunk's reporting and analysis tools. Learn how to create alerts. Three, study real world examples and detections. Practice. And then four, focus on fine tuning and optimizing your detection queries. And it keeps going to review what you've learned to assess. Now it's telling us that this is a rough guy and I'm like, okay, cool, it's a rough guy. And I'm telling it, hey, again, this is a conversation that's happening between myself and something in our cybersecurity tutor of ChatGPT. So here I'm telling it to give more detail on the weekly learning roadmap and boom, it's going into a lot more detail here. We're seeing that it's saying for day one. So it's breaking up into days now. So week one, day one, familiarize yourself with the Splunk search language, including understanding the basic syntax, keywords, commit. I mean, it's giving us, it's giving us some good information here, right? Tell us to practice the daily queries or practice the basic searches. Let's get into more detail. Week two, study Splunk's reporting analysis tool, and it gives detail there. But at the same time, yeah, I'm understanding that this is a learning plan, a study plan, but at the same time, I want more. I want links. I want links, places where I can go, things that I can get from Google, right? A million Google searches will probably get, get me this. But when I ask uh, ChatGPT, please include resources and links for each week, is drilling down into it. 
it's drilling down into it, right? We can see here that it says Splunk search tutorial. It's giving specific documentations, links to documentations from Splunk. And then it's also following up with a YouTube video. That's probably how you found my information right now. So it's saying um, for, for day one, it literally is giving you the documentation from Splunk and it's giving a, you a YouTube video to follow that up with. So you're getting some people who like reading, um, but also listening, right? And video learning too. So that's something that's very valuable, right? So it's doing that for each one of these days. So you can literally block off what you're gonna do for each one of your days within your organization and say, hey, this is what I'm gonna do. This is how much time is gonna take. And these are my resources. And it's giving you that for each and every concept that it gave. Now I'm thinking about, hey, what can I use in order to practice? So I asked the question I asked, what resources can I use to practice creating my queries? And it says, what are they? Those are my questions. And again, having a conversation, this is something that's kind of developing and they're using previous information and not through in there. So I don't have to give as much context in following prompts than I did previously. So it gives several here, it says Splunk Sandbox, which is a free online environment that allows you to practice creating searches, reports, and dashboards at Splunk. This is an excellent resource for getting started with Splunk and learning the basic search language and reporting. And I think this is super valuable for people who might not be in the field yet, right? I know this scenario, I'm talking about security operations center analysts who might have access to a full Splunk dis distribution, but ChatGPT is giving us a free resource here where you can just go online, you can utilize the Splunk sandbox in order to practice and uh, all of your detections of what you've been learning. You also might want to not do this or practice your threat detection or threat queries within your live systems because you might mess something up. So having this Splunk sandbox resource is super duper valuable. It's given several others here, right? The Splunk base, a vast collection of Splunk add-ons and apps. It's given several other things and online tutorials. Now I'm also following that up by asking, hey, are there any GitHub projects? I should have said projects, but in the GitHub projects where I can find examples. And they said, boom, they, they're, they're giving me several GitHub projects that already exist that have examples of Splunk queries that I can compare mine to or even enhance for my particular environment. That's one thing about these queries that people can give examples, but they might not necessarily align one to one to your environment. So utilizing previous examples, building up your ability to, to create them your, yourself and then applying all of that knowledge to tailor it to your environment is exactly what you're getting here from this learning plan. Um, and now I ask them, hey, give me some links. Please provide links for each one of those GitHub resources. And it's giving me each one of the GitHub resources and says, I hope these resources are helpful in your journey to learning how to create detection queries and Splunk and good luck. I mean, that was so much there. And guess how long this, this took me? This took me maybe like, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. In 15 minutes, I have a roadmap to a concept in cybersecurity that I didn't know previously. So you as a security analyst, you as a career transitioner, you as a early career person can utilize ChatGPT as your own personal tutor. Feel free to use my prompts or increase them or use different prompts too for any of the concepts that you might need help with. And there are gonna be more of these. As more developments come with ChatGPT and even Google is coming out with a version called Bard.io or Bard, it's also gonna be similar to ChatGPT. I'll do more and more videos of how you can utilize artificial intelligence in your cybersecurity journey. Thank you again. Subscribe, um, hit the like bell or hit the like button if this has been valuable to you. And um, this is Struggle Security, where we are normalizing struggling in cybersecurity. And hopefully this alleviates one of your struggles. Thank you. And I'll come back again for more and more of this type of content. Thanks.